Today we're going to be making these delicious vegetarian Hakka noodles which have just the right kick. Hi, and you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you want to try out recipes that turn out right every time, go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit on that bell icon, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. We're going to start by prepping our veggies for the noodles. We're going to go in with one cup of carrots, which we're going to cut into juliennes, and I've already grated the carrot. We're just going to cut it down into smaller sizes, so it becomes easier to cut it. Now to make it easy to cut it, we're just going to cut a slice off. So this forms the base, and now we can place the carrot flat, and it becomes easier to cut it. Now we're going to slice it down. And once you've sliced it, then you can take about three of the flat slices and then start cutting them into jillions. And now we're going to add the one cup of jillion carrots to the bowl and get along with cutting the next veggie. And we're going to go in with half a green bell pepper and half a red bell pepper. So we're just going to cut down the sides. Cut it down and now we're going to julienne this too. If you find that the sides of the bell pepper are a bit thick, you can always just shave off a bit and flatten it down. Now you could even cut it breadthways or lengthwise. We're just going to keep to length. If you wanted, you could also add in yellow bell peppers and orange ones. Okay, now that we finished cutting the red bell pepper, let's cut the green. And you could go ahead and cut your bell pepper on the top and take off the top portion. And then using your knife, just cut off the center where all the seeds are. And now we're going to cut off the bottom portion. And now let's use half of the green bell pepper. Just going to cut it half, cut it down smaller. Now we're going to level out the sides. Don't want them to be too thick. Now let's go on and chili in it. Let's transfer the sliced bell peppers into a bowl. And to the noodles, we're gonna be adding some nice crispy cabbage and we're gonna finely chop it. We're looking for about a cup over here too. That's looking just right. Let's transfer these into a bowl and cut up the green onions. We're going to go in with about 10 to 12 stalks of green onions. Now we're going to cut the green onions into three parts and we're going to use them at three different stages while prepping the noodles. So we're first going to cut off the roots. Then we're going to cut the white onion portion and this we're going to slit into two. So we're going to use this portion at one stage. Then we're going to cut the green onion stem into two and we're going to use this at another stage and now we're going to cut the stalks into long pieces and we're going to use this right at the end so that they remain crisp. Now we have all the parts of the green onion chopped and separated. Let's transfer them into bowls. And let's not forget to chop up some garlic to add a ton of flavor to our noodles. And we're going in with four garlic cloves, giving it a light smash to take off the skin. And I'm actually going to go in with the garlic press so that we get it nice and fine. To a pot of boiling water, we're going to add the noodles. And we're adding about 400 grams of noodles. 
and we're going to cook them just as per the instructions on the packet. And we're going to add about two teaspoons of salt. We're going to keep the salt a little low because we're going to be adding soy sauce later on. And once the noodles get soft in the hot water, you just want to loosen them up a bit. Our noodles have cooked perfectly. Let's take them out and put them into a strainer. Just want all the water to drain down. Now to shock the noodles and prevent them from cooking any further, we're going to run them through some cold water. Once all the water has drained off, we're going to transfer the noodles into a bowl and drizzle it with some oil. And this is going to prevent the noodles from sticking to each other. Just going to give it a toss so that all the noodles get coated with the oil. To a heated wok on a medium high heat, we're going to add about a tablespoon of oil. And to that we're going to add the white part of the green onion that we had chopped earlier. So we saute this a bit and toss in the garlic. Just going to saute this for about a minute till the garlic loses that raw flavor. Now let's add in the carrots, the bell peppers, the cabbage and the green stems of the green onions. Now let's mix this up together. We're going to season it with about half a teaspoon of salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. About half a teaspoon. Let's just give this a mix. And let's add half a tablespoon of sugar. And now let's give this a good mix. And we're going to saute it just for about a minute or two because we want the veggies to remain a little crisp. Okay, our veggies are looking good. So now let's add in the noodles. And now we're going to season this with one tablespoon of soya sauce. And here's a tip, always add your soya sauce on top of the noodles so that you don't discolor your veggies. And now we're going to add two tablespoons of red chili sauce and add half a tablespoon of sesame seed oil to it. And give it a quick mix and add it in as well. And we're going to add one teaspoon of rice wine vinegar. Now let's quickly toss this together. Our noodles are now looking ready. Let's toss in the green onion. Just gonna to toss it in on the top. We're just gonna give it one mix before we take it off the heat. And there you go, we are all done. Oh my goodness, look at that. And now it's time to give the noodles a taste. And I'm really excited because I'm very fond of Hakka noodles. Mm. Wow, these noodles are really delicious and they've got that little kick of spice to them, which makes them absolutely amazing. I'm telling you, you've got to give this recipe a try. And if you want the full written recipe, you know, hop onto my website platingitwithwendy.com. Thanks for watching. See you soon.